Treatment for COVID-19 continuing to stir up controversy in the Permian Basin. Fox 24's Felice Romero has been looking into the steroid and what doctors on both sides of the aisle are saying. She joins us live in studio with more. Felice. That's right, Monica. There's a lot of opinions surrounding the steroid. On one end, some COVID-19 patients have found success using this treatment, but there has not been enough cases to confidently say that this is the cure for COVID-19. Yes, this is a lung infection, but it is a total body inflammatory process as well. So it would, you know, it makes sense that giving steroids systemically or to the whole body would potentially be more effective than just inhaling them. Dr. Bartlett of Odessa claims he has successfully treated several COVID-19 patients with the inhaled steroid budesonide, even going as far as to say this may be the cure to COVID-19. But not all medical professionals are sold on the treatment yet and say more research has to be done before claiming it as a silver bullet for COVID-19. Evidence-based medicine. Uh, and that means that it needs to be proven uh, at, at many different sites, at many different times, reproducible in time and space to be able to show that something works. Dr. Sarah Vannon says if someone is already on steroids systemically, an inhaled steroid isn't going to have any additional impact if they test positive for COVID-19. If somebody is getting steroids through their blood directly or by mouth, the, the dose of the steroid in the body is so high that a minor dose of inhaled corticosteroids is going to have no additional impact. The belief process of the fact that this could solve all problems. No medicine is ever created that way. Officials say many people have been asking about the steroids since Dr. Barlett has treated patients, but they want to make one thing clear. Every case is different, and they can't administer a steroid to everyone, and they are working tirelessly to protect the community during this time. You are all our family and friends, and believe me when I say that we are trying our best. I encourage everyone to please take the time to acknowledge our frontline caregivers and everyone who works in the hospital to provide care for our patients. Health officials say they know times are hard and people are desperate for answers, but they're doing all they can to help the community as they learn more about the virus. Reporting live in studio, Feliz Romero, Fox 24 News.